Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to The Edit Place, and today we are talking about MKBHD and how I think he has kind of updated or stepped up the jump cut game, because if you've noticed for the past year, handful of months, I don't know, the recent while, uh, you may have noticed instead of just doing the typical YouTuber jump cut that looks like this, where it cuts closer and then back to one and then closer and super close for comedic effect or something. He does this sometimes, but he also throws in some of these, if you've noticed in his videos. And obviously this is just stylistic taste or whatever, but uh, I think it's pretty nifty and I want to show you guys how to do it, uh, specifically in Final Cut Pro. Now this is the exact way that he does this. Like any other effect or tutorial, usually there's like three or four different ways that you can go about doing something. So if you don't have this plugin or you're not in Final Cut Pro, there are ways that you can achieve something similar if you want to see it in Premiere or Resolve or anywhere else. Let me know down in the comments below. But for now, I'm going to show you how he does it. All right, so we're in Final Cut here and I just have a typical A-roll clip here uh, from a recent video of mine. I'm going to actually mute it real quick. Uh, and we can see that obviously I haven't done any editing to it right now. Um, and so normally, if I want to go around and splice up a couple sections here, uh, the normal typical YouTuber jump cut would look something like this. Uh, maybe I jump in 10%, and then we go back to one, and then maybe I said something funny here, so I'm going for major comedic effect. So if I play that back, oh my gosh, I forgot that these were not short here. You can see that I just kind of jump in and then we go back to normal. And then again, if I say something funny, boom, super jump cut in. Again, these are totally fine and he still does this from time to time. But in his effect, if you notice, his is more of a zoom in. Now, your first reaction may be to just do a simple keyframe where you would set something like this. I would set my keyframe and then maybe jump in a handful of frames and then kind of go to, you know, that 10% or whatever. And then let's say jump to the end of the clip, a couple frames in, add another keyframe and go to the final and then go back to uh, 100%. So that would look like this. And that's close, but if you notice, it's very rigid and his has this almost like fluid bounce to it. And that is the key uh, to kind of the effect here. So what I'm using to uh, create this effect, same as him, is Motion VFX. I've made some videos on them before. If you have no idea who they are, they are the greatest plugin company ever, not affiliated. Actually, not, well, I'm not like sponsored or anything. There are affiliate links. If you do decide to pick up some, you want to use the links in the description. It does help me out, but that's besides the point. They're amazing. Using them for years. Um, and uh, this one is a little different. It's M Blueprint is the title of this pack. It has uh, a bunch of graphics for blueprints and just kind of outlines and different backgrounds. You wouldn't really expect this effect to be in there, but it has something called camera movements. And there's a bunch of presets for them here. Um, you can do left to right pans, right to left, kind of zigzag, go through all the corners. Uh, but what he's using is just a custom camera. Now, if I were to bring this in over top, you notice I don't have to cut anything um, because it acts just like a title. And now by default, I can see what it looks like here. And obviously this is punching in quite a bit, but did you notice the bounce? See how it kind of eases in and eases out? Um, that's kind of what it's called rather than just like what I have from here, which is like very static, slow in, and then kind of stops. So this is more of a linear line where it goes from zero movement straight up to 100, whereas his movement is more like a, I shouldn't do it that way. It's more like this, right? So it eases in and eases out. I don't know if that's the proper line, but hopefully you guys get it. And then, of course, at the end of the uh, transition, it goes back out because we can see in the top right here, we have the build in, build out. Of course, if you didn't want to go back or one or the other, then you could just turn that off 
And then it's just going to kind of jump cut back once the title ends. What's of course nice is you can lengthen this however you want. And then of course the important thing here is to change the zoom amount. Um, so if you only want to go in a little bit, because again, unless you're going for that super punch in comedic effect, a little goes a long way. And so I can play this here. So that was a really tiny movement. Go in a bit more. And there we have it. And then after a little bit, kind of goes back. Simple as that. Again, if you are interested in um, the Motion VFX uh, specific plugin pack here, I'll leave it linked down in the description below. Again, you can achieve this without buying that plugin. Um, pretty much every professional video editing software has a way to do not just a linear curve. You can kind of change the ease ins and outs. I'm not a pro at that, but I will happily create a tutorial if you guys really want to see that. Let me know down in the comments below again. Definitely final tip is don't overdo it. You know, Marquez, in my opinion, is a master at making something feel special by not overusing it. He has a freaking robot camera. He's got all the reds and all the any camera in existence. He's got multiple studios, backdrops, uh, and a whole team to help him edit and create his masterpiece of videos. But the key is to not use this effect every 10 seconds. You do not want to just have a video that your timeline looks like this because your viewers will get so tired and probably like nauseous and woozy constantly just going in and out, in and out. So make sure you fill it with B-roll, add some traditional jump cuts where it makes sense. And if you use this every once in a while, you'll get that nice kind of like, ooh, what was that? That that felt different. And that's the exact feeling that I got from his because both this and the jump cut do the same thing, but how you get there just it feels new, feels fresh. Um, so kudos to you, Marquez, for uh, kind of updating the YouTube jump cut and giving us something a little bit new and special. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.